he had hair in them days. <laughs> Which, uh, which I, I can't believe he's got no hair, but no, what a legend. Yeah, the, the banana craze, we were just talking to him there. The banana craze is still going strong at City as well, which is a testament to this. Yeah, before we up. usher him on, can we see the bananas in the crowd, wherever they are, for, for this legend? Get them get raised. Come on, there get them raised. Go. I like over here where they're just, they're just semi, semi inflated bananas. <laughs> go on, lads, get the puff going. And please make some noise and welcome right now to City Square, Imre Varadi. Memories, Imre. At least it was in colour. In my day, it used to be in black and white. And shorts were short, and you had hair. Exactly, Sorry. yeah. It's pretty Sorry. windy today. Uh, amazing memories. Does it, does it just roll back the years? Are you there when you watch that, Imre? Yeah, it does, obviously. Um, we had a great time there back in the 80s. I don't know if everybody can remember that, but uh, there were good old days. There were a lot of characters in my days. Um, and we got away with things, not like they do today. Sorry, you've got to elaborate on that, Henry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, we used to get up to a lot of tricks, but uh, nowadays there's cameras everywhere and players can't do that so much today. Still being cagey, <laughs> a I lot am. of tricks. <laughs> well, we used to have a lot more fun, especially in the dressing room. Who was the character in the city dressing room at that time? Can anybody remember Paul Stewart? Oh, yeah. oh what, a, what a great player, but he was a character. Uh, there were times after matches we used to all go for a drink and uh, halfway through the evening, we all looked down, his right shoe would be on his left shoe, or foot, his left shoe would be on his right foot, then 10 minutes later, we'll look down, his trousers will be the opposite way around, 20 minutes later, after a couple of more drinks, <laughs> the shirt will be the opposite way, inside out. So, you know, they were fun days, people used to look at them, the fans used to look at characters, characters they were they were great and talking of wacky characters uh, Imre uh, Mr Balotelli I mean obviously he's recently gone over to uh, to Milan what did you make of him um, it will be sorely missed I suppose but uh, that's that's off the pitch <laughs> but on the pitch I mean he was hot and cold wasn't he I mean a great player obviously but uh, probably wrong time for him he's a young player he's still got to do the right things on and off the pitch and I think that's where he is in his career at the moment and I believe you're uh, a football agent now. I mean, Mr. Balotelli might, might not be a bad client, really, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, I've been doing it for 13 years now. I work for a big company called Stellar Group based down in London. And we've got a lot of high-profile players. I wish he was one of ours, but I don't know. Unfortunately or fortunately, he's not. <laughs> and what do you make of the club? I mean, obviously, it's come a long way since the days oh. you, know, you were here. I mean, you look at the City Square. We were talking before, weren't we? a beautiful blue sky, FA Cup oh. game. I mean, it's magical. What an afternoon, like you say. I mean, it's all set up for a terrific day, uh, hopefully a terrific game as well. Both sets of fans will be here in force, and hopefully it'll be a great game on the pitch as well. Um, it'll, be, it'll be tough. I think Leeds is going to come here thinking they've, they're going to get something out of the game. Obviously, City have been uh, not hitting the right form at the moment, but I think this will be their last chance of probably winning silverware, so it's got to be a must for them. And you yourself played in the FA Cup for City and scored in the FA Cup as well. Um, the FA Cup just, it has that, still, that magic about it. It's sort of, you know, the, the, everything that goes with the FA Cup. Um, do you think that for the players or in your time, was the build-up to an FA Cup game, was it any, any different or, or um, do you think they sort of, you know, treat, treat everything the same? I think because there's so many competitions now, like i.e. the Champions League and Europa League, uh, back then, in my day, the FA Cup was the the thing it was absolutely amazing if you could go on an fa cup run the supporters everybody it was it was an amazing time and that was basically the only thing a player wanted to win is play at wembley and win an fa cup and hold the, the cup aloft and what do you think about the fact that so many premiership teams have been knocked out of the fa cup and we may end up having two three four maximum in in the in the next round well it's a knockout game, isn't it? You, you play one game if you can put a performance in. Look at Oldham yesterday. Um, they obviously beat Liverpool the, the, the tie before, and they've got that last-minute goal, and it gives them another tie. I think because in the lower leagues, the FA Cup is their main you know, time for them to make a name for themselves and probably get you know, n knowledge, get seen... Um, and do well for themselves. Hopefully, that's you know something they can do is in their footballing career achieve something. 
We've got some music coming up later from the 1975, a band I'm sure you're very familiar with. Oh, yeah, in uh, I'm sure what, you are. What do you listen to when you're, when you're chilling out on your iPod <laughs> in your bath with all your bubbles and your candles around you? What, what's on your iPod? Uh, well, I'm a little bit older. Um, I like the old stuff, what? but... Uh, <laughs> well, what, yes. what, what would have been in the dressing room in your heyday here at City? The Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that coming out in the 80s, early 80s, but um, I like all sorts of music. Um, I just put anything on that, that sounds OK. I like Michael Jackson. I like people like them, the do old you, music. Do you know what, Imre, one thing you've been holding out of sight, but you're clearly very proud. You, you started this craze. I did. It was... Uh, I came... I ran out onto Main Road, the old stadium, and someone started to call me Imre Banana. And... <laughs> I thought, Imre Banana, that doesn't rhyme. What, what's that? Is it something I'm not, you know, I shorts, we had very short shorts. But anyway. Um, <laughs> and then the next game, someone's bringing a banana to the game. And it brought in a lot of fun back in the 80s, actually. And uh, they actually dressed these up as well. They put wigs on them, they skirts, boots, all sorts of things. And then they brought different other objects eggs, you know, <laughs> parrots, hammers, you know, so it brought a lot of fun back in the 80s. Well, you started that and hopefully there'll be plenty to cheer about and be happy about this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Imre Varadi. Thank you.